Good afternoon. We are with uh, Cliff Watson. This is an episode of the week. We're going to look at a used truck today. And Cliff, what are we what are we looking at today? Well, today what we're looking at here is uh, how to diagnose if you've got a uh, if you got a problem with your wheel lift. Okay. Uh, you can check and see, and if you got a lot of movement, a lot of movement in the pin here, the boom, and also back here in the back where your cylinders are, uh, you can see the movement back here. Uh, can't see it as much on the camera, but I can see it without. Okay. Here, shake it really good, and I. It's a good yeah, now I see the movement. Okay, good. Now our viewers see it. Okay, and uh, so a couple things that you can do. This pin right here. Remove this pin. Which pin? This pin right here, the big, big center pin. Got it. Okay, you remove that. Okay, it's got a brass, brass bushing in the boom area here. Okay, and so you would, you want to replace that. Also, you got two plastic washers. One goes on the top. One goes on the bottom down here. Okay, replace that, and that's going to tighten this area up right here. Okay. Also, now this truck is four years old. This truck okay. is four years old. Okay. So you will be replacing the two plastic washers, the brass bushing, and then put up two new bolts in the bottom down here. Okay. Uh, also inside here, you have a slide pad here on the bottom. Then you have a slide pad back here on the top, on the inside the boom. Okay, okay. That slide pad is going to look like this. Okay. Okay. And also, this slide pad has a cage that the slide pad sits in. Okay. So you want to check that. Sometimes they wear the pad out, and then they end up wearing the cage out. So okay. If you got a lot of movement in this area, if you could just replace the pad, if the cage is okay, if the cage is gone or missing or worn, replace the cage also. This again is on the bottom and one up here on the top. So okay. you pull the boom out to replace that. Another thing you want to check back here, all your cylinders. You got two, uh, two tilt cylinders here, you got a lift cylinder. All these has got bushings in here okay, and sir. pins. Got it. Okay. And here's the bushings. You Show me those cylinders one more time for our viewers. I'm not as quick okay. as you. Now here's two arms. Got this it. is the two arms here. Right. Here's the two tilt cylinders, one here, Got it. one here. Got it. And here's your big lift cylinder in this area right here. Got it. Okay. Uh, all of them have bushings in the in the cylinders and also in the arms. If these bushings are bad, replace them. Okay. Also check the pins. If the pins has got a lot of wear on them. Now it's pins. I don't understand what you're saying. Are you saying pens or pins? Oh, that's right. You're from Kentucky. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, pins. I know, I know. It's, it's a shaft pin right here that goes through the the, uh, the, the mounting frame here and goes through the bushing here to hold the hold the arms on, Perfect. and then also holds your cylinders in place. I've seen people come in; they completely wear the bushing out, they wear the arms out, uh, they also wear the cylinders out. Uh, so uh, save yourself some money and change these bushings, change the pins, and then make sure you grease it and you're going to save you a lot of money. Now you talked about, I mean Cliff, back when we, had, I know we're outside so it's a little different lighting for us here, but you talked about greasing and making sure you grease those, the, the parts right. here. Right. Now let's say it's been four years, I've done my greasing, will I still have a lot of play, but really I, I might, and I might still have to replace it because four years of wear with this much movement, uh, I may be forced to do that, but what are we looking at cost-wise for repair? Well, it depends on how bad you let it go. If you just replace the bushings and, and the pads, uh, the cost is very minimal. Okay. But if you will completely wear it out, here you, you the boom here is probably like eight hundred dollars. This whole bar here is probably okay. another five. Okay. Uh, you know, so you can get into a lot of money. Your cylinders, if you got to replace the cylinders, are okay. probably. Uh, like six, seven hundred dollars a piece. You got three of those, so okay. uh, you can replace the bushings and the pads and, and a few pins a lot cheaper uh, than you can replace all of that. Right. So, so what we're looking at here is we grease and then we take care of it. We've got to look for tolerance and play. And if this has this much play, how is that going to affect the toe? What are the risks that we take when we do that? Well, here in California, when the, when these guys get inspected by CHP, CHP won't pass the inspection like this if, All right. if they got this much movement. So number one, they would have to replace it if they're on the CHP right. rotation. Okay. Uh, otherwise, if they, if they continue to run it like that, then what's going to happen here is you're going to see the wheel lift in here. It's going to drop down like that. Okay. And it's going to continue to wear and wear, and they could also lose the car because of that. Okay. 
So, so as an owner operator, I want to make sure that I grease. At a certain point, I have to make sure I have the maintenance. And with this much play, it can be tightened up a little bit. But if a bushing goes bad or a cage goes bad, and I need to change other bushings, um, I, it's a requirement I'm going to have to do in order to keep it on the road and keep cars safe. And if I'm in California, CHP California Highway Patrol, I can have a problem. Yes, that's correct. That, okay. they, they will not pass that, and they will not allow you to continue to, to toll for CHP if you've got too much play in this PN and your lift area. Last question. Um, if, if you had to get this repaired, how many hours would you say? Is it a day repair? How, how long will the truck be out? Uh, you probably could repair all the bushings and, and pins on this probably in about uh, about four hours. So they could probably bring it in one day and pick it up the same day. Got it. Okay, great. Cliff, any last words before we go? Take care of your truck and take care of you.